Okay, what is up everyone? Brian, Ramen Adventures, and I'm here at Haneda Tokyo International Airport. It's 4.30 in the morning, but you gotta get here early to get that cheap flight. I got a week free. Let's check it out. Go to Taiwan for some Japanese ramen. I don't know. Gonna check out some ramen, check out some beef noodle. Yeah, taking a trip. Well, let's do this. Here in Taipei, the rain has let up for a brief moment. So yeah, let's talk about this. I am here for Nagi. I'm here for ramen in Taipei. Now, check it out. I'm rocking the Nagi t-shirt. Nagi is a Japanese ramen shop. Head shop in Tokyo, Shibuya. They've been around for 10, almost 11 years. They got, I don't know how many shops, a dozen or more all over Asia. Absolutely killing it. And for me, this is awesome because Nagi was a shop that is really important in my kind of ramen adventure, my ramen journey. You know, when I started blogging about ramen uh, eight and a half years ago, I would go to the original Nagi once a week. And back then they only had the one shop in Shibuya and it was good ramen, not super popular. There was no line or anything. Sometimes I'm all alone. And I would slurp every week, and uh, that pushed me to explore the ramen scene more and more. So that's kind of what started my journey, what started my ramen adventure was, was Nagi, actually. For me, yeah, Nagi is uh, one of the most important shops of shops I like. And uh, yeah, let's check out their branch here in Taipei. Let's see if it holds up. I think it does. I don't know. Let's try it. Big, big spot in here. Lots of seats. I'm gonna sit right here. All right, it's doggy time. Nagi's signature butao pairs thin hakata style noodles with a white pork soup. Standard tonkotsu ramen toppings, including big thin slices of chashu. The soup is hit with a lot of seabara, pork back fat, to give it another level of richness. Okay, gochiso sama, yeah, awesome. So thanks, I'm here with Steve. Uh, so yeah, I always ask, what's kind of the special point, or what's special about the ramen here at Nagi? Uh, uh, our special ramen is basically, basically our fresh noodles, uh, fresh authentic tonkotsu ramen. I mean, we make everything fresh every day. We the soup, the noodles, the chasu, everything is prepped every day, and we just want to give you the most authentic 
difficult to run an experience and type it. Which is kind of cool. Do yeah, you know, and uh, so every week we launch uh, our limited kings that uh, Ikura-san actually uh, invented back in, in Japan. So yeah. um, uh, this week, you know, you know, we have uh, the Mighty King. You know, with, with our collaboration with uh, Mighty King Barbecue. So it's you know, yeah, the, the, the Mighty King brisket. You know, collaboration with the with the Nagi Tokochu Soup. So yeah, one of the special things here, they have a limited bowl, changes all the time, who knows what it is. But today it's a collaboration with Mighty Quinn's, which is a barbecue place out of New York. It smells legit. So yeah, we're gonna crush another bowl. Nagi constantly has a limited bowl on the menu called the Limited King. I just happened to be there for the Mighty King a collaboration between Nagi and Mighty Quinn's Barbecue from New York. This one features Nagi's creamy tonkotsu ramen topped with smoked beef brisket. Add to that some unique condiments, pickled cucumber and onion, and a scoop of Cajun spiced ground pork. If that wasn't enough, the whole thing gets a drizzle of heavily smoked brisket oil. I wish I could get this year round, but it is limited, so your mileage may vary. A third bowl? Yeah, why the hell not? I'm on vacation. They also have a Mighty Quinn's collaboration, Maze Soba. That means soupless noodles, so mix, mix, mix it up, mix, 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 and go to town. Whew, good stuff.